Hello everybody, this is Cats for Life, and today we're making a custom track tutorial. It's fun. So what you're gonna need is uh, NW4C, which is Nintendo Wear. You can find that in the Mario Kart 7 modding server, um, right here. Uh, you can also use Pablo's tool right here. So here's the N uh, NW4C for Maya. And, uh, you need Maya 2013-2017 for um, Ash, but I'll have that in the description. And then Blender 3.0, which is right here. I have it as a green screen, just for Blenders. Every File Explorer. Spisa, which will also be in the description. KMP Expander and a 3DS or Citra to run it. So let's make the layout. So what I usually do for layouts is I usually usually like make a drawing in Blender. So this is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna um make this and then we're just gonna um make a turn. This is not actual modeling modeling. We're just making the turns. It turns way too wide. Sorry, it's taking a while. And then... And then, so now we're gonna... So that's the main layout. So now we're gonna add mesh, plane, and this is what I like to do. I add a subdivision surface. We're gonna keep corners. So we're gonna size that correctly. We're gonna make that. So we gotta do that here. And then make the lane layout right here. And then we got the main layout for the first section. So then we're gonna go press E. Also, uh, you have to extrude by pressing E. You also need some Blender uh, plugins I need. I'll put in the description. So we're gonna actually really quickly do that. And then we're gonna press uh, F to do that. Press F to do to um, combine it. To, uh, what is it? Hold on. New edge face or vertex, or vertices, sorry. So we're gonna do that and that down there. Now this turn looks a little weird, so we're gonna get like this. Also, if you wanna do, uh, so this game can only handle around, if you're using CHP7, it's gonna handle around uh, 10,000 polygons, but I am not using CHP7. So we're gonna, we're gonna do, um, I think we're gonna go to two for right now, but then we'll just I think there's one right there. Yeah, there is. One, two, three, four. We're just gonna do that. And we gotta do that. There. 
So we got our first model. And this is going to be part one. So out of all of them, this is going to be the original. So let's uh, make some edits really quickly. And then we'll, uh, and then we'll end the video here. Because I got, I got to do other stuff for the next part. So let's make this a little longer. Make this a little less big. Yeah, make these turns less big. Okay, so now we gotta, okay, so this is how we're gonna rise. So I'm just gonna really quickly see. Uh, I can't turn that off, so okay. So now we're gonna rise this, so select all. We're gonna, so this is how you toggle x-ray, this is viewport shading, you, um, this is all viewport shading, and then this is rendered, material preview, solid, and then wireframe. So now we're gonna uh, we're gonna rise it by zero point one. Actually, hold on. We're gonna do that. Zero point one, and then no, do that. By zero point one. I don't know that much about Blender, but I know how to make a model at least. So. We're gonna rise that of zero point one, and then one, and then so we got a we got a turn right here. A turn, Just make that a little tinier. I I'll do that in a second. I'll make the zero point two. And then, actually, no, we'll make that a little tinier turn. So, like that. This tutorial will not cover sh shadows, by the way. Sh um, shadow maps but it will cover everything else including objects and such so this will be a boost panel section To make that a little better turn. We don't want turns to be blind, so we'll put this a little higher. And then we got our first thing. So on the next part, we will be covering UV mapping. So I'll see you then. Bye bye.